What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills. Welcome back to the Road to Foot Champions RTG Edition. Welcome back to the Top 100 Weekly Rewards and a Career Mode in one way. What? What's going on? So, Booyah Nation, yesterday I dropped the Career Mode. I said if it got 20,000 likes or 15,000 likes, I would give you a Career Mode guaranteed today. And it's here today. But also, the rewards came out. And everybody was hitting me on Twitter like, Skills, can you show us your rewards, your rewards, your rewards? So, I decided I'm going to open up my Weekly Rewards and then we're going to jump into the Career Mode episode. So, literally, it's two in one, baby. You get to watch the rewards and then we get to jump into career mode i really hope this makes everyone happy in the comments down below and it makes all the career mode guys happy the foot champ guys happy smash a big old thumbs up if you like what i've done here yo i promise career mode can we get 20,000 likes for that yo i promise career mode and i told you guys i would give it to you even if fifa 18 came out and it's here but first we're gonna open up our weekly top 100s i'm gonna save my monthlies for tomorrow's uh dedicated foot champions episode so with that being said, you're probably looking at me like, Skills, what the hell is on your face? Okay, let me explain this, all right? So, uh, today my girlfriend thought it would be a great idea to prank me, and uh, she got me well. I thought I was recording a video for her YouTube channel. Anyway, the video will be on my vlog channel. That link is down below. She pranked me hella good. My beard is now orange, so uh, congratulations uh, to her. I need y'all's help. Booyah Nation. My girl does not watch my FIFA content. She watches the vlogs, not the FIFA content. In the comments down below, can you please tell me something to prank her with? Please give me ideas. I want to prank her back massively. I want it to be great. So let me know in the comments down below what I should do to her. Now, with that being said, we got 15th in the world, but that is for our monthlies, which our monthlies is a top 100 uh, champions pack. We get a bunch of kits, which all look amazing, especially that red one, that red elite one looks nasty. And we're going to open those up in tomorrow's foot champ episode. But for today's mini foot champs episode, we got 80th in the world for the weeklies. Um, so we're going to open these up. And again, man, I hope everybody is understanding of this because I promised uh, career mode today. So this was going to be career mode without even the rewards. Um, but I wanted to make sure that the rewards were out for you guys as well. So I figured this was a great idea. Again, man, if you guys see why I did it, big old thumbs up. I hope you guys understand and I hope you guys think it's awesome I did this. So let's go ahead and open up our rewards and then we're going to jump into the career mode where the transfer window opens up. We're going to open up our best of January, which is awesome. Also, a couple gold packs as well. We get two jumbos and then the best of January. And we're going to save that one pack for tomorrow's episode. Um, and I know I know sometimes people get upset that I split the packs up. First of all, I'm splitting the pack ups because this is kind of like a kind of like a not a dedicated foot champs episode. This one is. But more than importantly, we worked super hard for top 100 weekly and top 100 monthly. And I feel it's only right to split it up because we worked so hard for that Booyah Nation. And to put it into one, it's just I feel like it's not fair, especially with how content is right now on YouTube. It's really hard to get content for FIFA right now. So with that being said, Said we have 500,000 coins to waste for this upcoming weekend league, which we're not going to. If you missed today's Foot Champs episode, that's going to pop up right now. Bros, I legit built a first own team that looks nasty, and I'm going to be playing with it as a challenge in the weekend league, and I promise you I am going to complete the challenge. Everything is recording, right? We're good. We're cop aesthetic. We get Ter Stegen. Also, on that vlog channel as well, I also reacted to the Neymar transfer. That is up and live already. The prank won't be up until later. I have to edit and stuff, uh, but... The whatchamacallit, the Neymar is up, yo, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it gets crazy. Anyways, we're going to keep all the gold cards to see if SBCs come out. You never really know. Um, and these I will just send up to the trade pile. And now the moment of truth, man. I feel like this is a guaranteed team of the year. I told you guys when I got top 100, I tried so hard. I feel like it's a guarantee. I look so stupid, bros. I guarantee that this is a team of the year. And, and I swear this has to be a team of the year. Guarantees 11 special cards that were released in January, including team of the week, team of the year, and man of the matches. Let's get it, baby. Team of the year, please give me a walkout. Please. Oh, my God. I got top 100, yo. How are you not going to give me a team of the year, yo? Ah, oh, that's tough, man. Ah, oh, that's tough, man. Ah, oh, yo, 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 yo. That's incredible, man. I swear I thought I was getting a team of the year, man. Ah, oh, that actually hurts my face, man. Parasit, you already have. Schmeichel, we don't need. Uh, ah, yo, these were absolute doo-doo, man. The only thing we can hope and pray is that our monthlies are better, but that's sad, man. I really gave it my all to get that because I thought the team of the years would come out for top 100 players. Our best player was Bernardo Silva, man. I really have nothing to say. I'm not going to argue because all year I've said it and I'm going to stick to it. Yo, it, you know, rewards have been... Lozano looks pretty nice, though. Maybe I should keep him. Nah, you know what? Trey Powell, every single one of them. Do I need anybody for the first owns? Mm -mm. We have all these, yo. I, like, I, as I was saying, yo... Um, let me keep Montoya, because right backs is something I'm lacking. 
everybody's not gonna be able to go up. Uh, as I said all year, you know, it's not, it's you know, it's free, it's free rewards for playing the game and stuff like that. But that still kind of stinks, man. We gave it a hard, hard go trying to get top 100 for team of the years, and that's how it played out. Now let's jump in to some Arsenal career mode transfer window style. If you've been missing this series, I'll get you up to date. Our team is nasty, and we are three points clear of the table. Arsenal top of the of the table. The Chelsea three points back. Everton a few points back, and we're looking pretty good as a Stoke City game comes up. I want to say to the career mode guys real quick, man, I truly appreciate your love, your support, your dedication to this series. I mean, legit, no matter what target I set, you guys smash those thumbs up. It's unbelievable to see how awesome you guys are. I simulated here. I know a lot of people don't like to see the simulations. They like me to see, see me play every game, but honestly, I really want to get to this transfer window. That's why I've been simming so much. I want to get to the transfer window so bad because I love our team. We've been dominating. We've been playing good football, but there's a lot of players that I wish we didn't sign. For example, I don't like Lamar too much. Laka Sweaty's been a good signing, and Bappe's been pretty good. Lamar hasn't really fit in. Isco was kind of one of those signings where he was a good one, but he's not really getting a lot of playing time. Please don't let them tie this game. We need this W. Isco with a hat trick, I mean, with a, with a third goal to make sure we guarantee it. So I really want to change the squad up and change the team, and I really, we're so close to the transfer window. We're going to get to that, so in the comments down below, please blow it up on what you guys want me to sign. I mean, there's so much that needs to be changed. For example, Isco not getting playing time. Lamar not getting playing time. Um, Mbappe's now a starter. Like a Sweaty's a starter. We have so many, like, winger-type players. Like, if I play Uzil at the can position, then Isco can't start. And then we got Marez, Lozano, and Lamar, Walcott, Sanchez. I mean, there's so many different right-wingers and left-wingers um, that players are... Ram Ram Ramsey's not even getting a go, so we might as well trade Ramsey for somebody. I just saw Mbappe's engine, which is actually a is mind blowing to me this is nuts right here because this next game is actually the game that could put us very far ahead of Everton right now we are five points clear of Everton I want to look at the schedule because we are going to get to the transfer window in this episode Everton Man City um and then we got a couple easier type games. So we'll probably play the Everton game and the Man City game and then simulate a couple games till we get to another hard one. So let's go ahead and jump into Arsenal v uh, Everton. And that's what the team's looking like. Alexandro Koscielny, I like that in the back. Walcott, Lamar, Isco, uh, Laka Sweaty, and the boy Sanchez. You know, we could actually use another striker a legendary five minute halves another striker in the transfer window could be pretty copacetic because Lo Lo Lozano and uh I mean uh, uh Laka Sweaty and, and Mbappe but then after that I gotta put Sanchez there which is kind of I don't know all right let's get it on man we're at the Everton's home Arsenal wins here today and we're seven points clear of Everton and if Chelsea happened to slip up as well then we really go on them yo so that would be incredible to be like seven or eight points clear of both teams in first and second this like early in the season would be absolutely lovely clearly you heard the key word right there which was early because it's still very early in the season nice play here comes isco to sanchez i try to go back to renato sanchez doesn't work but like like a sweaty over the top it's a beautiful ball he brings it down nicely why did he go to his left foot i feel like that should have been an easy goal but instead, he misses, but now Laka Sweaty, he comes right back with a booyah. Big boy Laka Sweaty, making it 1-0. He does miss a lot. He does score a lot, but he does miss a lot. So it's one of those loves-hate relationships. Laka Sweaty bags it, and all of a sudden, we could be, what, eight points clear? Nine points clear? That would be nasty. Isco brings it down nicely. What do we got? We got Laka Sweaty back into Isco. My boy Isco lets one go! Goal of the season contender. It could just be my boy Isco with a rocket from outside the box. That's my first long shot I've scored in career mode this season. I don't even attempt long shots in career mode, but what a banger from Isco. 2-0. I mean, it's still the first half. 45th minute corner. Can we walk out of here with a cheese goal? I go to Laka Sweaty. He brings it down nicely. I'm trying to find the right pass. I can't find nobody. I go to Alexandro. He was going to bang it. Laka Sweaty back on it. It falls to Kashani. Kashani, Kashani, Kashani. Oh, what a save. Sanchez. I go over the top to Laka Sweaty. What a ball. What a ball. Let's go. Sanchez and Laka Sweaty. It's unbelievable. The over the top murdered the Everton defense. The first time shot. And it's a banger. Well, that's the second time shot because he took one touch. But 67th minute, 3 0 and three points in the bag. I go to Isco. He, he makes a mistake. Isco. 
He made him Coleman made a massive mistake. How did he not clear that out of bounds? That's mind blowing to me. That's an easy over the top. He, he should just be knocking. Look, 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 he should just be knocking that out of bounds. But instead, he tries to control it. Isco with a steal and Isco with a double. No way. No way. No way. Keep a clean sheet. Keep a clean sheet. Yes. Keep a clean sheet. No. Keep a clean sheet. 4-1, Lukaku bags one. GG's. Yes, boys. 4-1. It's a massive victory. Probably one of the biggest victories of the season. We got out possession, but we outshot them. We outshot them on target. Manchester United slips up against Crystal Palace. Man City slips up against... Well, the game's not over. Those games are not actually over. So, Man City and Man United still could get points out of that game. Spurs game not over neither as they're up 4-0 against Hall City, but the most important one, let's hope Chelsea took an L. So something that really stands out to me is that Crystal Palace is in second place with 30 points, and Chelsea did lose points, and Everton did lose points, and United did lose points, and City are losing points, and we are seven points clear, top of the table. If we beat Man City today, I mean, that could be... Not only are we gonna be champions of January and Christmas and stuff of the winter break, but we're gonna be pretty far ahead of everybody. Chelsea already played their game and they did win, which puts them on 32. So this is a must win game against Ch against uh, City. And we're away to City as well. As you guys know, I'm going to drop it down to five minute halves and keep it on legendary as we always do. We got Mbappe back and healthy. We got like a sweaty Uzil Sanchez Mares. I like that. It's looking sexy and beautiful. We got Alexandro. Renato Sanchez not going to play. Ramsey not going to get a go. We haven't used Coughlin. We haven't used Gabriel. There's so many players that could fit this team and they're just not playing. But for this game, I want to come out in full strength and I'm liking the way this team is looking. So this is exactly how we're going to start it, man. Let's go ahead and play Man City with uh, Mbappe, like a Sweaty and Uzil as the front trio, and then Mares and Sanchez creating down the wings. It's gonna be a fun, fun, fun occasion here in Manchester. Lovely, man. Let's go out here and win. And if we can't get the win, let's just get a tie and keep ourselves a couple games ahead of all of our rivals. I see Laka Sweaty making a run, so I'm gonna try to find him company with a bad first touch again. The CPU stays taking bad first touches. Bravo can't get down, and Laka Sweaty gets it right. It's in the back of the night, not in the net, back of the night, back of the net, 99. Night, boys they always take a bad first touch it's something i'm noticing in fifa 17 the cpu doesn't know how to clear it and you know i'm gonna abuse it Good shot right to leno's hands and i see a man wide open i see a man wide open let's start this man like a sweaty drops into mbappe who got a lot of speed on him mbappe a bag of speed here we go baby he cut yo go go, go inside like a sweaty oh the mendy Alta mendy wow Alta mendy played that perfectly well played mustafi Gun to gun. Cliche, good steal, Mares. Go, Mares, go. Go, Mares, go. Nice, Mares. Come on, baby, Mares. Let's go. The shot from Mares off the post like a sweaty. Go. It's too easy. My man Mares off the post. And then Laka Sweaty, the man I actually talked smacked about in the last game. He's cleaning it all up right now, bros. Now, I know if Arsenal fans see Laka Sweaty bagging this many goals in real life, whoo, they're going to go crazy with that, man. 2-0, Laka Sweaty, Man City, no chance. Uzil, still on it, Uzil, in the box. Nice. Mbappe? Oh, I thought I had him. I thought I got him. Mares, Laka Sweaty! Hat trick for Laka Sweaty and we're dabbing on him. Dabbing on these noobs, baby. My boy Laka Sweaty with a hat trick. 37 minutes in the Man City Stadium. Can't even believe what they're witnessing. What a shot from Laka Sweaty and Bravo with no chance. And we're up 3-0. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 3v2. My boy Mbappe over the top. What a pass to Laka Sweaty. He could find a fourth. Bravo, no chance. 4-0. 4-0 against Man City. First came Everton. Then come City. We're getting all these boys. We're smacking all the teams in the BPL. Mbappe went over the top. And Laka Sweaty company, no chance. Bravo, no chance. Back of the net. Let's go. Mares with a chance. Oh, Mares. Oh, Mares. What a ball. Mares 5 0! I never in my wildest dreams thought we would smack Man City and Everton like this. It's it. This, this season's over, bros. The BPL's locked, bros. It's over. It's GG's in the chat, yo. We're rocking everybody we see. Man City getting embarrassed. Yeah, 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 Torre. Yeah, yeah, shoots. Yeah, yeah, scores. 
Good goal, 5-1, yeah, yeah, that's a rebound goal as well. GG's, baby, 5-1 is how it ends. Absolutely stunning performance. We got that early goal, and that right there is it. Early goals in career mode are clutch. You're probably like, what do you mean, bruh? So right now, we are eight points clear at the top of the table, and West Brom is up next. And I know a lot of you guys are like, yo, you play on Legendary, bro, and you're smacking Man City 5-0 and this and that. It's not that I'm some crazy good FIFA player. I mean, I know you guys, but my skills, you are good uh, because of what I'm doing in the weekend league. But the reason I got so hooked on the weekend league and started getting away from career mode so much, so much guys, is because EA won't touch this mode. For example, since FIFA 11, FIFA 12, FIFA 30, FIFA 40, 50, 60, 70, all the way up to now, this game has worked one way and one way only. If you score early and you just hold possession and try to hold the game on your side, and not on your side, but just play your game without being stupid, about the 58th minute, 60th minute, they're going to go ultra attacking. And when they go ultra attacking, they're going to leave themselves with two center backs in the back, which means if you're playing a 4-1-2-1-2, a 4-4-2, a 4-3-2-1, anything with a lot of strikers up top, you are going to be able to expose their two center back defenses once it gets to about the 68th minute, and you're going to win games. So in career mode, if you score early, you got it. It's GG's. It's locked up. You're locked and loaded. Also, EA doesn't want to touch this mode. But the truth to the matter is, is that I just played Man City. And they brought KD ben B as in a substitute. They brought Jesus the striker in as a, a substitute. Aguero didn't play. And this to me is just stupid IQ football. For example, if I'm playing Crystal Palace and they're in last place, okay? And my next week game is again, or my next in two days I play Man City, I know to bench Sanchez, Ozil, and all my great players. I know that a big game's coming up, so I'm gonna hold my good players. But EA goes, oh no, no, we're gonna put our good players against the bad team and then play, you know what I'm saying? It's like, no! So they make mistakes like that. That's why it's so easy to win the leagues they uh they they, they it's easy to, to 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 manipulate the cpu to push forward so then you can win it and another thing is big tip massive tip if your opponent scores you're playing against the cpu if they score bros make a substitution instantly because momentum is a thing in career mode people try to say it's not in foot champs and that's fine i'm not gonna talk about that let's not talk about ultimate team in career mode it exists it exists 100 matter of fact when you get scored on you know how they those players get all pumped make a substitution and watch how fast the game flips back onto your side ladies and gentlemen the transfer window is now open up we are here we have arrived and we have arrived in style bros we lose mars for two months that's kind of sucks i might have to sell him we could trade him on somebody, which would be fu pretty funny. Transfer window is here. I told you guys we would get here. We simulated two games. We won both games. We won the massive games against City and Liverpool and uh, Everton. Um, and we are chilling, man. Look at that. 46 points. Uh, top of the table. Chelsea with 48. We're loving life. And we're about to make moves in the transfer window. Ladies and gentlemen, blow it up in the comments down below. The transfer window is here. We can make moves. We can make it happen. We can bring in Neymar Zito. We can bring in whoever you guys want to bring in. The transfer window is open i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did big old thumbs up hopefully you guys respect what i did with the foot champions and thing i just want to make sure i gave you guys the content so thank you all so much for watching big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe i'm out of here put your bell on all right take care booyah what's up youtube it's your boy double a nine skills it's the road to foot champions rtg edition this is the guaranteed team of the season edition we have a sbc that we can complete it's called chemistry is key and if we complete that we're gonna get an sbc and right now booyah nation your boy is really hoping for a right back a right back that we can use and you're probably like skills why do you want a right back what's so important about a right back well we are doing a challenge this upcoming weekend league and it is a first own team now you know we did the untradeable team and i failed with that but i promise you guys i'm gonna still try to get top 100 but even if things take a turn to the worst and we start doing bad your boy is still going to try to just complete the challenge with the first own team now i started putting the team together and all these players you are looking at are a first own we got butlin we we got Smalling, we got Deli Ali and Kante, Lukaku and Hazard. But all this we have, we do not have a right back from the BPL. I mean, we do have.